Cornflowers, part two. <sighs> well, what's there to do now? It's a hell of a thing, that inspection. I'll go to the village. Mm. What about your studies? I'll study off campus. We can't hide Elena all the time. I'll register the certificate and leave. What kind of life is that? Give birth, of course, but don't bring them into the dormitory. How will I live without you? I've gotten used to you. <laughs> Thank you, Yulia. Oh, come on, Olya. Have you heard anything about Vasya? I have, in fact. He's serving at the border. Which one? Southern one. Did Vera tell you? Yeah, she was drunk. And she let it slip out. But it's dangerous there. That's not what you're supposed to think about now. You'd better go to the registry. It's long overdue, you know. Where have we been the whole time, huh? Where have we been to? Yeah, oh, you look so business-like, just like your dad. Oh, look, look out the window. Look there, look there. Your daddy made these windows, aren't they nice? All right, we're gonna register you now, yeah? Mom's going to pay a small fine, right? Yes, Elena Petrovna? Well, uh, not Petrovna. She's Vasilyevna. Vasilyevna? Her father's name's Vasya. Vasily Verskov. Shh, Elena, shh. We're going now, you're all right. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, dear. Hi, sweetheart. You're doing so well. That's what they call studying, right? <laughs> She's gone from theory to practice. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. Hello? Afternoon. Need help? Yes, the lock seems to be jammed. I haven't seen you before. I haven't seen you before, either. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Victor. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. So it looks like we're neighbors. I arrived here about a month ago as an agriculturalist. Where are the Chuprakovs? I don't know. They've gone off somewhere. I came with my wife. She'll introduce herself when she's back from the city. Come over and visit, won't you? You should come to visit, too. Right, Elena? <laughs> <laughs> Elena. That's right, Elena. Oh, look at her. She's quite the beauty. Oh, she recognizes me. <laughs> Remember, come for a visit. Thanks so much. Ready? Let's go now. There we go. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. Come on. Deal with it. This is what it is. Right? Here we go. 
It's nice to see you, Anna. Good to see you, Olya. Huh. Look at you with a baby now. Who's here? <laughs> oh. This is Elena. Oh, Elena. She looks so much like you, you know. Really? Yeah. No one tells me that. It's quite odd, really. I had no idea you got married so quickly. Who did you marry? And how have you been doing, Anna? I'm good. Your classmates are passing their exams now. All right, well, if you'll excuse me, we need to get going. A few errands. <laughs> oh, Olya. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have left school. Seriously. You don't have some? Ugh, we don't have any baby food, I'm sorry. Those with babies go to the district center. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a car and I can't take a bus every time. Well? And I have nobody to babysit my daughter. Are you done? Now let's get to the adult food. All right, I'll have some butter and uh, some fat sausage as well, lard and... And then 30% of that sour cream you have. Hold on, it's as if you're from the land of the hungry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Listen to me. Let me arrange this. Let them send it directly since they should already. You are a lifesaver. Come the day after tomorrow. Thank you, Auntie Zoya. You're welcome. Why are you catering to her? It's her baby, let her deal with it. What does the baby have to do with it? Anything can happen in life. You need to have a little compassion. Tell me something. Does any of this hurt you? You want your butter, don't you? What would happen if I go ahead and close the shop? Then maybe you lose some weight. What's wrong with you? Did I offend you or something? Hey there, Olya. <laughs> Good afternoon. So yeah, my name is Tatiana. I'm Victor's wife and your neighbor. <laughs> nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Look at this little one over here. She's beautiful, <laughs> looks just like you. I'm here just for a second. Uh, I wanted to invite you over. Victor and I made a great deal of borscht, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to study. I still have to send my course paper in. Come on, you and I should get acquainted. You're a nursing mother. You have to eat so you don't lose your milk. So shall we? We can have some tea. Hmm? That sounds great. Get dressed. The borscht is getting cold, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's visit with neighbors. Elena, sweetheart, come with me. Okay, you good? Can I hold her? Of course okay. you can. That's okay. Oh, my dear girl. <laughs> mm. Oh. <gasps> wow, what is it? What is it? Here you go. Thanks so much. I'll fill the gas bottle tomorrow. Why didn't you call me? I could chop the logs. You could have thought about that yourself. I've chopped enough. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> you better get a job, of course. You're studying, which is a smart thing. How would she work with the baby, though? Mm. Well, why don't we arrange it for you and Olia here to work every two mm. days? You like kids. You can babysit Elena, since we have none of our own. Not yet. Why only me? Why don't you babysit her and get the practice that you need? Well, yeah, I can do that, for sure. Actually, I thought you said you had no opening at work. Don't worry, we'll find an opening for you, it's fine. 
Not right away. I had no idea that you were so persistent. Tatiana, what is this about? Well then, thank you very much, you guys. I should get going now. Feel free to come by any time. Thank you both. You should come over too. See, I'll master my grandma's recipes and then you can come. Come here. Thank you again. Goodbye now. Uh, anytime, Olya. So tell me, Victor, would you also rock her baby's cradle at night? It's just my luck. <sighs> Grandma said that that's bad luck. Good afternoon. How are you? Where are you going? To the shop while the baby is sleeping. Oh, your thing is, I'm really sorry I lost it back there. It's cool. You see, I can't bear it anymore. I'm pushing 40. It's been seven years. We still don't have a baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have your own problems to worry about. Come to my house this evening. We'll have tea and talk. All right, but get going now. Go on. Bye, dear. Bye-bye. This is my village, all right? Don't you guys get smart here. Oh, really? <laughs> Master! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? Help someone! That's it. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police now. <laughs> the police are on their way. <laughs> Enough. Let's go. Vasya. 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 Are you all right? Vasya. Oh, fine. Fine. Vasya. Vasya. Hold on for a second. You forgot your bag in here. Vasya. Here it is. Vasya, Vasya, you should go see your dad. We had a fight. I'm not going to him. I'll get some rest on the hill, and tomorrow. Vasya, well, go. Vasya, look, I'm going to go ahead and close the shop. You need to see a doctor, uh, Vasya. I don't need to see anyone. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh Vasya. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Oh, hello, Olya, dear. Auntie Zoya, what happened? Yeah, poor sweet boy. Who's that? Vasya Vershkov. They jumped him. Two hoodlums came and beat him up right out in front of my Wait, store. Wait, so he's here? Of course he is. He just got back from the army and already fought with Where'd his Where'd he dad. go? He went to go and rest up on the hill. Oh, yeah, it's awful. His head is cut so badly. <laughs> Vasya! Oh, God, Vasya, what happened? Oh, yeah. Can you stand up? My head's spinning around. Let me help you. All right, now. Oh. I'll take you to your father. I'm Come not on. going in. Oh. Easy now. Uh huh. Come on, let's go. Come on with me. Careful. Uh huh. 
Does it hurt? I don't mind. suffered so much. It was also, well, it was also stupid. How old is she? She's eight months. She's mine. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I think you're stuck with me. <laughs> you still play guitar? <laughs> I gave it up a long time ago. Could you sing our song? Come on. I'd love to hear it. Huh? Please. All right. Два одиноких сердца есть где-то на планете, а между ними море, а между ними ветер, а сердцу словно воздух, любовь необходима. Два одиноких сердца мечтой живут едино. Мы однажды встретимся, чтобы узнать друг друга, И не помешают нам ни дожди, ни вилка. Мы однажды встретимся, там, где звезды светятся, Где мы найдем с тобой нашу любовь. Мы однажды встретимся, Звезды светятся Там, где мы найдем С тобой Нашу любовь Нашу любовь I was really worried when I found out that you were going off to the southern border. The guys and I thought the army was gonna be a joke. There were the rebel fighters and the like. Did you really have to fight? I even have the medals to prove it. Why aren't you telling me more? Ah, uh, why would I? I'm alive and well. That's enough. Well, my friend, for example, lost half his arm. So this profession, mechanic, engineer, Why does everything scare you? Well, yeah. Hmm? I think Elena should have her father's name on the official birth certificate. So look, read that there. Elena Vasilyevna Ryabinina. Wow. And the father field is blank, I see. We'll register when I come back, okay? When you come back? That's right. Oh, 
Olia, I'd like to earn some money ASAP. And buy a car right away. So that we can go on vacation, like normal people. Where could you? ASAP. Jenna Korchkin, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, he's offered me a job in the north. Drivers are needed over there. In Nadim, it's 60 degrees below zero. I can deal with that. Thing is, they pay as much for a month as I could get anywhere in half a year. When do you leave? In about two hours. I'm supposed to be in Ivakino. Look, I've already agreed to it, you know? But I've been waiting for you. And not just me, Elena too. Well, for now, here's some money. It's a start. More's coming. That's all I've got. You knew this already? Yeah, I did. But I didn't know anything about you, Olio. Either of you. The brigades are already formed. And if I don't come, they'll look for someone else. The shift will be lost. I'll be writing and sending money. Why write to me? Call me instead. <laughs> Olio, it's Taiga. There are no phones there. If I try to talk you out of it, it'll only upset you. Thank you for that. The wallflower got the best guy. She got herself a hero. Well, good for her. <laughs> and right here is where the baby food is now. Just like her grandma. She took Igor away from me in 73, and then lured Fedora away in 1976. But you're here, and that woman's gone. I really wish I had some fun with Fedora instead. After that, I'd be happy if hell broke loose. <laughs> ah. Do you know what kind of a man he was? Her granddad? Oh, hey. Hello there. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, Nera. A salute to the hero. <laughs> Where are you all going? To perform feats of danger, like heroes do. Oh, feats of danger. <laughs> Let's go. You ready? Don't worry about a thing. Two months will pass like it was two days. We'll both be waiting for you. Take care. You too. Bye now. Well, good afternoon, neighbor. <sighs> Hello, Tatiana. Come on in. We haven't seen you in a while. I just feel uncomfortable. I'm taking too much from you. <laughs> My guy's been missing you, always asking how Zolia. Please, what are you talking about? Oh, come on. Thank God your husband's already back. We can all be friends together now. What's the matter? He left again. Did you have a fight? No, not at all. He's off to earn money for a couple of months. I wouldn't have let mine go. Not a chance. Let's believe that everything's going to be okay. I have to. I get it. Belief. Well, look at you, dear. You want to get down? All right. Let's walk. Then. Oh my god, Let's who's already down. walking on her uh -huh. own? Uh -huh. Oh, my little girl. Come here. <laughs> well then, have you heard anything? No, no one knows anything. Can you babysit Elena? I need to get to Ivakino. Sure, sure, of course. Thank you so much. You go, you go, you go. Thank Good you. luck. Bye-bye. Oh, my little girl. Let's fly, let's fly. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Do you remember how we applied? 
<laughs> How we messed up our bags. Oh, yeah. I went to the committee and they said, lady, these are not your documents. <laughs> <laughs> but you're happy again. Sure, he left, but he came back. Love is stronger, that is. It is indeed. Yulia? What's up? I've gotten pregnant again. You are kidding me! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you very much. Listen, now you're ahead of us all. <laughs> wow. Well, did you go over to his mother's? I did. And how is she? Good. She wrote out a prescription for blood. She said I was a little pale. <laughs> I'll go over today. <laughs> yes. You got that, lady. Give birth for the third time and you'll get her crawling on her knees. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I don't need it, though. You know, I haven't heard from Vasya in a month. He's only called once since he left and went to Nadim. What did he say? That he loves me and misses me. That the phone's not working and the coverage is bad. <gasps> Looks like he won't get away from you now. Elena's so beautiful, she's amazing. When he came, he went to Vera, but she's having her second month now. You know that. To Vera? Olia, what's wrong? He'd go to you anyway. Yulia, I just hope he's all right. Yeah? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Will Rima and Drevna be here soon? Oh, no, she resigned, actually. Resigned? How come? She resigned and went to the North. I can make an appointment with another doctor. Can you tell me where to exactly? Sweetheart, how would I know? She said her son got married and she was going to help with her grandchildren. Grandchildren? Yeah. Shall I make an appointment? Are you okay? What's going on with you? Are you all right? Speak up. <laughs> Day is over. Oh yeah, let's go shopping. Galia, you know I gotta pick up the kids. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, how's the orders going for the fertilizers? Everything's ready, Victor. Right here. Uh huh. All right, this looks great. Look, there's one more thing left. Would you come by tonight? We'll discuss it. Um. Uh, well, yeah, no, sure. Okay. We can do it tomorrow, but I'm going to the fields in the morning and for the afternoon. Today's better, right? Yeah. Sure, Victor. It's no problem. Can I go? Sure, I'll come along with you. All right, okay. <laughs> Good luck, girls. Don't stay too late. Go on home just as soon as you can. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Mikhailovich. <laughs> Take care now. Did you see that? What a bitch she is. She had no family of her own, so she ruined oh, someone else's. Oh, don't be else's. ridiculous. Tatiana and him broke up because they had no children. Oh, come on now. Everyone saw how Olia welcomed Victor. Help me with this, help me with that. He fell for her on his own. Tatiana's all right, she settled in Ivakino, it's all really good. And they might have a family as well. I don't know. Perhaps you're right. Why not? Victor has no kids of his own, but she has two of them. They wouldn't need any more. Okay, I'll get Vasca and we'll go home. Hello there, you. Hello. Hello, my dear. How are they? Ask him. Who had another fight with Shishkin? Vasca? Vasca? Shishkin's a bully. Elena, don't get close to Shishkin so you don't provoke him, okay? He started mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. See that? There you go. The Riabinins Mafia. That poor Shishkin. Vaska, stay away from Shishkin, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Svetka. Of course, my Thank dear. You. Mm -hmm. you come and visit now, you hear? But all's going swimmingly, Olya. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
Julia. Hey there. Hello, Hello corner boy. Vaska, want to join me on the field? <laughs> can I of go, Of course Mom? you can. Uh, are you going to build a fortress again? Are you going back to your books again? It's almost over, and I want to graduate. I'm so tired of this. Do you need some help? No, thanks. I'll just go and cope on my own. Well, don't say I didn't offer. <laughs> I'll be by later. Sure. All right, then. See ya. See ya. Let's see. Were you asking about a bike? Now it's you and me, kid. Huh? A bike? Yeah. Oh. Let's have some tea, all right? Okay. <laughs> there you go. You like this kind, right? Great. Thank you. It's Boris. Thank you. Fertilizers. Could you call the place for me? I'm tired of fighting them. I got under their skin. You can do it so firmly and insistently. In that case, I'll call them. <laughs> it's no problem. Enjoy. All right, I'm going into town to buy some things. Would you like to come with? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Elena needs a jacket, that's for sure. And Vaska always tears his clothes. Oh, well, what would you expect? He's just a boy. Actually, I thought perhaps you and I could go ourselves. We'll go again with the kids later. We'll leave them with Auntie Nora this time. At least we'll be able to walk around the shops. I mean, that works. Mm -hmm. So sure. All right, we should get going. Shh, 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 leave him here. I'll bring him back tomorrow. No, it's OK, Victor. He'll wake up at some point and cry. All right, then hold on. I'll carry him out. Stop. OK. Sure thing. Hold on a second. Hold this for me. I'll be right back. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, yes, I remember you. I remember you. Know something? We registered on the very same day, in the afternoon, I believe. Thank you for that. For what? I'm sorry. Thing was, we loved each other so much. And we knew how to forgive. I lost you, didn't I? Good afternoon. Would you like some ice cream? I'm good without it. Let's go. Sure, let's go. All go the best. That. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Take care now. Is she a friend of yours or something? We met about five years ago on that bench. But she wasn't alone back then. And you? Me neither. Excuse me. Yeah? Can I get a glass of water? Of course. Yeah. Here it is. Oh. Yeah, I've got an observation. This special lady here carries special water. How am I special? Come by tonight, I'll tell you, huh? 
<laughs> what are these jokes about? Calm down. You're here to build, right? Then do it. You understand? Do your job. Thank you, Olya. Mm. <laughs> we need to change the workforce. They're not right. Not right? I thought they were fine. Yeah, sure, quite fine. Wonderful, even. They've been building this attachment for a week. Victor, he was just joking. Come on. So... Olya, did you think this is because of that? No, I'm sorry, but... Have you seen how they're building it? There are these openings. We started it all so that the kids will be warm in the winter, right? We won't have to stoke the furnace. And now we have to do it again? I know better, Olya. Well, then, if that's the case, you manage it. Why did you throw everything around? What's this here? Come on, it's all sideways. You call yourself builders? Calm down, it can all be fixed. There are always side effects to these things. Listen to me closely. We won't be needing your service anymore. Why are you so worked up? It's not your house. That's none of your business. Hello there. I'm so sorry. You are, uh, Olya. Is she here? Uh, sure. Come on in. Oh, Yulia. there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Yulia! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. You look so good. Oh, come on. Here. You take these. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Doing some construction, I see. Well. Oh, it's you building this. <laughs> well, I manage it. And you're the foreman, then. Yulia, he's not a foreman. He's a Victor, my neighbor. This is Yulia, by the way. Oh, Yulia, <laughs> the one who's the best in the world, right? Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so shall we then? Let's go. Riding in cabs, are we? Well, <laughs> while the money allows it. Mm -hmm. So Victor's your neighbor. I'll tell you later. Victor, let's go. What's wrong? <laughs> I'll catch up later, girls. Hold on, Pasha's the one who helped you break the door back then, right? <laughs> yeah. What door was that? That was a very long story. So he's a businessman now? Uh-huh. He left Petya far behind. Now he sells construction materials. Oh, right, Petya. And so when did you register? It was only recently. And you didn't invite me to the wedding? Look, he's from Astrakhan. He went over there. Here's to you, then. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Why didn't you take him with you? Mm. Oh, God, I wanted to have some rest from the man. You know how boring they could be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say something wrong? I didn't mean you, dear. No, it's all right. It is. I understand you need to talk. Therefore, here's to you. Mm? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I got to finish the job. Victor. No, 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 it's cool. We'll have time to talk, right? Of course, thanks. No, he's... He's just my neighbor and a very good friend. His wife left him, and he never was able to have any kids of his own. So he made friends with Vasca. We're remodeling now. It's cold in the winter. We need a warm house. And who's paying for it? <laughs> Only me. I'm earning it. He gave me a job and gave me a bonus. I see, so he made it possible for you to pay for it. Good job. So not only is he shy, but kind-hearted. He sure is special. Why aren't you asleep? Come on now, sleep. That's right, that's right. That's it. Turn around. That's it, sleep. Are you coming with me? Shh. <sighs> so 
So he didn't even send money for the children? He doesn't know anything about Vasca. Do you think I really need his money? What about his father? They had quite the fight back then. Well, didn't his mother leave the address then to anyone? Nope. I asked in the poly clinic. I went to the neighbors. I wanted to. I don't even know what I wanted, really. He could have at least told me that he had a new family. Family? You didn't have an old one. We did. We did, even if for a day. I'm sorry. Me too. So let's toast. Will you ever forgive him? All kinds of things happen in life. People get divorced, and then they get married again. <laughs> you still believe in fairy tales. Oh, don't say that. It does really happen. Well, then what is it you want now? I want my kids to know that they have a father, their real father. And I want them to have one. Here you go, then. Something I was thinking whether to give it to you. I visited the guys and asked them to give it to me. Thank you so much. I don't even have one single photo of his. I'll show it to them when they grow up. Again, Aunt Yulia? Of course I will, silly. Don't think the cab's coming. Listen, where'd you put your guitar? Kids, bring out your mom's instrument. Oh, I haven't played in a hundred years. I haven't seen you in ages. I'm entitled to a concert. Yulia, you suck. Play for us, Mom. Два одиноких сердца есть где-то на планете, а между ними море, а между ними ветер, а сердцу словно воздух. Любовь необходима, два одиноки. Wait, wait, keep playing. I finished playing. Take the guitar inside. Uh, I found some new workers. They're stand-up guys. They'll make everything in the best way possible. That's right, Victor. Gotta finish what you started. Right. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Yulia. Bye. Look, he's making sure that I won't take you away. <laughs> Bye take now. Take care. Bye, hun. This is for you. That's real nice. They're beautiful. Olya, I wanted to ask you... Olya! 
Olya, Auntie Zoya needs to see you right away. Svetka, I can't come right now. Can I come later? No, you should go. Go. I'll wait here. She sent me. She said that you must come. It's an emergency. That's ridiculous. Perhaps they've brought something. No, but that's important too. You should go. Go on. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Auntie Zoya, what Hold happened? I, agriculturist wife. She's an agriculturist. If you keep spreading rumors, I'll take all that you've got back from you. Is that clear? Whoa. Oh, yeah. You know something? Vasya was apparently in town last Friday. He could have walked on foot from Ivakino in Why three are you days. wagging your tongue? I guess I wasn't clear enough. Get lost. Stop your yelling. You should know. Stop it. How about I'll you butt out? Oh, yeah. I had to tell you out of obligation. Thank you, Auntie Zoya. Olya, don't wait for him. He'll only ever get on your nerves. There's no need. I looked at the barn as well. I think we should repair it too. I think. Um, yeah. All right then. Did something bad happen? It was nothing. Auntie Zoya left some shoes there for me. I don't have the money though. Why don't we pick them now? We'll sort it. Sort it out later. She's already closed for the day. Ah, uh, she's closed. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> closed early today. Well. She's taking inventory. All right, I'll go. Feed the kids, I think. Olya, I wanted to say something to you. Ah, uh, about the repair? Yes, uh, yeah, it's all right. I thought... No, not about the repair, not about the repair. That's clear, I thought. Uh, Olya... So I've decided to... Oh, are these the workers? Okay. That's right. Unload it, gentlemen. You the owner? Nice to meet you. Hello there. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Ignat Ivanovich. It's a pleasure. Mm-hmm. All right, Olya, where are we going to live? We're coming from a job and we're all exhausted. Um, I only have a barn. Are there four of you? Four of us? A barn? Are we like bulls to be living in a barn? Stop, stop, guys. Hold off on loading. What? Hello, Good afternoon. Not. What, why are you getting worked up? Why? Because living in a barn. I don't know what agreement you had, but they don't want to live there like the others. Yeah, and look what they've done with that over there. Wait, wait, hold on a what? second. No. Victor, we had a different agreement. Sure, sure, no cause for alarm. Hold on a second. We'll talk yeah. about the agreement. Well, okay, okay, guys? Yeah? <sighs> what agreement did you have? Oh, yeah, I thought we would treat things as they come in, really. You'd live in my house for a while. There'll be enough space. The house is big, right? This was your plan? I had no plan at all, believe me. I found some good workers, and people wait in line to get them. I was just gonna tell you today... I don't know, what will people say? What's the difference? Who'd really care? Do you think that people haven't gossiped about us yet? All right, then. Just ask for my opinion on things in the future. I wanted to ask you today, I did. Well, let them unload, I guess. I'll go feed the kids. Sounds great. Unload it. You're gonna live in the house. Everything's okay. I Fair told enough. you it would be. Unloading, guys. This is my couch and only my couch. <sighs> Mom, it's Don't mine. Don't fight. You're not home. This isn't your house. Why isn't this your home? It's your home. Mom's right. You don't need to argue. You'll both share the couch equally. This is my house. 
Jeff, you got that? And this is the my team is good. They'll finish everything in a couple of weeks. A couple? You said it'd be a week. I'm just being careful with my words. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come on, 120. And said yoga. <laughs> good job, Vasco. Press it harder. Come on now. Press it harder now. Vasco, tell him. I can't get through to him. Serioga, press it harder. There you go, boss. <laughs> Ignat, take a break. You're like clockwork. You guys have been amazing. That's very kind of you. Guys, you have half an hour for lunch. <laughs> Olya, listen to me. Yeah? There's this humdrum brewing that I can't stop. Well, you could see that the guys are trying. Yeah, they work really well together. The last ones were so slow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Olya. In order to work fast and well, they need hot food. I'm afraid that's how it goes with these guys. Mm -hmm. And my cook happens to be in the hospital. Could we have hot food at least once a day? Thing is, Olya, uh, could you could you cook for us for a couple of days? How does that sound? We'll manage in the evening. Yeah, sure. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> the guys are trying so hard. So then, we have a deal. Thank you yeah. so much. <sighs> yes, there's one more thing. I'll make soup for them and. Bring it in the morning. Mm. Tell Ivanovich to serve it. Thank you. Yeah? Aren't you going to feed them tomorrow? No, I'm going into town tomorrow. Take me to town with you. Please, Mom. Take me too. I want to. You're staying here, and that's that. Why are you going into town? <laughs> You're all curious. I have things to do, and that's all. Mm. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Listen to me. We need to have a serious talk. Victor, let's talk later, all right? Go and put the kids to sleep. I'll come, and then we can talk all we want. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Julia, hello. Hello. Look, what's so urgent? I thought something happened. Why didn't you tell me on the phone? I'm so tired. Victor, kids, workers. Thank God you're not an astrakhan. I have some business for you, Julia. Okay, go ahead. So I need to find Vera. What's up? Someone saw Vasya in town. Vera has to know something about it. Again, though? All right, let's go look for Vera, my poor girl. Mm, I believe she works in Zelenkos. Mm -hmm. She's definitely changed her name. She married for the second time. But I'm sure we'll find her somehow. For the second time? Who's her husband? Calm down. If it was Vitya, I definitely would have known it. Believe me. Good morning. Whom do you need? This is for me. Why are you here? When did you last see Vasya? <laughs> Long time ago. I haven't seen him since he took off after his I service. heard someone saw him in town recently. You believe that? You're so naive. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I might be naive. But you're a fool. <sighs> oh, yeah, just wait a second. Hello? Hello there. They live in the cottage, off the suburban highway. It's the cottage by the river. It's the only one there. Girls say they saw his mother walk with his granddaughter there. Granddaughter? Yeah, a little girl about three years old. And Vasya? <sighs> he must be sitting at home. He earned money in the north and found a wife. Then built a cottage and he's living there now. I haven't seen him, and I don't want to see him. All right, thank you, Vera. Oh. 
Poor naive girl. To the suburban highway? Yeah, I know that cottage. It's brand new, isn't it? Why do you need all this? Yulia, I need to decide something. Victor is about to propose to me. I hardly got away from him yesterday. How can I do it without seeing Vasya? Are you gonna wait for him forever? You heard it, he has a new family now, get it? Where are we going? Do you think you'll be welcome? Well, if you still believe that Vasya is so good, then... He'll come back when his conscience finally gets to him. Olya, you need to start a new life. With this Victor, dear. I'm tired of starting over again, Yulia. My grandma used to say, love comes with a habit. And Victor already treats the kids like they're his. Well, you see that? But they have their own real father. What about the fact that Vasya has his own family? If he wanted to see you or the kids, he would have come a long time ago. <sighs> How long are you going to be kissing his boots and his mother's as well? Have some pride. You can't keep forgiving him time and time again. Or do you want him to give you another baby and disappear again? He didn't write a single thing to his father. And you're talking about kids. I'm worried about you, Olya. You know what? You'd better go home now. Calm down and think it all over. At the very least. Yeah, I guess you're probably right. I shouldn't go there. Excuse me, sir. Can we go into town and then over to Cornflowers? Sure thing. Ghosts like this don't exist. Yeah! <laughs> Shoot. This is mine. This, this is, is mine. Kids, Harry. leave this the cake alone. Let's this welcome your mom back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, this is for you. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm piled with presents. It's now a home. And we have a cake too. So let's get to the table. Come on in. Everything's ready for you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mom, can we go for a walk right now? Sure, go on. Just be careful. I should have bought. I should have bought two bottles. It's fine. We have work tomorrow. I was just thinking about something. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give up this job you have? Give up, really? Well, not completely, obviously. Um, but it's hard to raise kids and work at the same time. I got used to it. And that's bad, oh yeah. It's really bad. It's not right that you got used to it. It's generally bad that women get used to it at all. It's, it's not right when a person is alone. No one is supposed to be alone. You're right, not supposed to. But it's all good, you know. Antonich somehow got used to being alone. Well, Antonich is... Antonich is... Antonich is Antonich. Uh, but... Um, I'm talking about you and me. Mm. Like a, well... Potential couple. Oh, yeah. I love you so much. Would you marry me? I can't live without you. Then yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Um. Victor and Victor Mom, Mom are sitting, sitting in the tree. Oh, my gangsters, my dear ones. Oh, what a life will be now, huh? <laughs> We're going to do so much now. We'll go south on vacation. Will we go there? Will we buy a fridge? We'll buy a fridge. Yes, a big fridge. The big silver fridge that you wanted. You know, the big one, so that you'll be comfortable. Really big one. You know which one I'm talking about, right? And we'll build a house. We'll build a house for all of us, Olya. A big one. A really, a new house, yes? Hold on. Don't worry. Hold on, hold on. I'll freaking break it, don't worry. Okay, here it is. Here it is.
I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll wash it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> All right now, easy does it, guys. Mommy! Go to your room. Go on, guys, go. See that? Stop fooling around. Look, Olya. Can we leave the kids in the bedroom today? Victor, let's not rush in, okay? We need to explain it to them. See how they look at us? Moreover, they're used to me. Do you understand? Of course. Let's finish the repair and then get everything in its rightful place, all right? All right. I'll get going then. Okay, hold on. What is this no. receipt? What are these nails? I gave you a kilogram yesterday. All right then. If you need them, I'll give you one and a half of them tomorrow, then. Excuse right? me? No. If I need it, what does that mean? Screws, then nails. Do you think I didn't know that? You asked us to finish the roof before Wednesday comes around. Remember? That's... The work is in progress. See? Tomorrow's Wednesday. The roof is gonna no, be No, that's ready. not what I meant, and you know it. But that's what I mean. Lunch Wait, is but... ready, guys. Don't argue, or the food won't do you any good, hmm? Vasca, let's go. All right. Our cook is coming tomorrow. They seem to have fixed his leg. Uh-huh. You should probably think of feeding Victor properly, you know. He nearly ate all of me between the nails and the screws. Here you go. Damn right. Victor, what's wrong? What? It's all right. Uncle yes. Ignat, does your cook know how to cook a good borscht? Listen to me, Vaska. Our cook can cook borscht no worse than your mom does, and he can cook much more. Starting tomorrow, we'll solemnly relieve her of her cooking duties we had imposed upon her. I must say, I'm relieved, but I'll help him accommodate you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll do everything in the best way. The rings, you know, and the guests. Uh, we'll break this cupboard in the kitchen. I'm sick of it. Let's not blow our money on such a thing. Mm. Let's have a modest celebration. The cupboard? Break it all you want. No, Olya, they need a holiday, right? Come on now, huh? The kids have to understand that they have a dad. Who's over there, hmm? Ah, Elena, <laughs> do you want a holiday? See that? She does. Uncle Victor! I want to know if you're going to buy a car. A car, huh? Uh, well, I'll buy a car, sure, why not? A good car, an awesome car. A used one, am I right? He's talking about a toy car, you know. Ah, <laughs> Vasco, of course, we'll buy a car, of course. Sure thing, my boy, hmm? I want a holiday. There yeah, you go. you'll get your holiday. Go to bed, come on. <laughs> Look, Victor, oh, yeah. perhaps we shouldn't spoil them so much. Look, listen, oh yeah. I'm, I'm the man now, am I not? I'll decide what we buy now and what we buy later, okay? Okay. Look, Olya, can you tell them to start calling me dad officially? I can't order them, it's up to them. <sighs> Elena, come on now, go eat. Oh dear, what happened? Have you cut your Uncle Victor's curtain? Wait, but isn't it our curtain now? That's what he said. And where is Vasca? Is he making a curtain suit? He's at the site, training to become a foreman. That's right, now go and eat. Vasca! Let's go, hon. Mom, yeah? the cook's here already. He'll be building it too. He gave me some mm, candy as well, he look. sure did. What is the new cook's name? Namesake. What? He said he was a namesake, just like me. But that's not my name. Right, Mom? You told me. He got confused exactly like I that's did, right. too. Let's go, my dear. Come on. Sit down here. Take this off already. And remember to feed Vasca. Feed Vasca. Have a headache? Do you want me to give you a massage, Mommy? My dear sweetheart. Sit back down. 
My dearest of dearest ones, it's all right. Make sure he finishes his meal, will ya? You gotta taste our borscht already. Basio's been boasting about your recipe, right? Basio. Vasya. We need to have a talk. Don't you want to tell me something? Why are you not saying anything? Where have you been? Only I was in prison. You were in what? Prison. We... When we got off the train in Nadim... I went to go get a coffee, and I saw it out of the corner of my eye how a drunk guy was hitting on a girl. She went to the exit, and he followed her. I got involved, and it started. He grabbed a knife, and I threw him into the window. He was almost cut in half. Then the police arrived. The girl was long gone. She never resurfaced, and I got sentenced to five years for infliction of grave bodily harm. He died. What about your mother? She sold everything. She went to help with your kids. Mother. She went and lied. She didn't want anyone to know about it. So she said I got married. I only found out afterwards. Basia, why on earth didn't you tell me earlier? I didn't want to ruin your life. Why would you be with a criminal? Twelve years I was in there. I hear that it's worked out for you. For you and for Victor. How long would you have waited around for me? You said you got twelve years, is that true? I was amnestied. I was waiting for you. People in town had said your mother went to help with your children. Yeah. Not her grandkids. I mean, not exactly. <clears throat> Listen. I'd like to see my daughter just for a second. And then I'll be gone. Hello, Olia.
she giving you a hard time? The boy looks like you, by the way. What's wrong? Vaska. That's right. His name is Vaska, isn't it? Such an idiot. Here it is, a brand new life. Ah, oh, ain't it that? Where is she? Who do you mean? Olia. She's not here. What's the matter? Is there a problem? Oh, hello. What's up? Vasya. That's me. You're a hero, man. What have you been doing these days? It's a long story. Have you seen Olia, Ria Benina? I sure have. Near the river. Last time I saw. Thank you. Wait, 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 Vasya. Buy the pipe, huh? It's from Ural. I'm asking for a 50, that's all. Why would I need that? Well, because you... You'll figure it out. All right, here you go. Thank you. Take it. I can't just no, take money. No, no way, man. I, I can't. Vasya. What? You know that, uh... Oli is getting married, right? Cook's arrived. Our workers are quite happy he has. What's his name? Vasya. Vasya Vershkov. So what's going on? Let's go home already. Isn't it cool how that gets burnt? Guys. Let's go home. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly now. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Children are good, Vasya. It's good when you have these small guys. If it's not so simple, <laughs> let destiny give you a hard time. <clears throat> but they're growing. They're growing so fast. They're growing, you see that? Here you go. That's right. And we're getting older and older, aren't we? I propose a toast. Here's to your kids, Vasya. Thanks for that. Thank you, Ignat. <laughs> Olia's apparently marrying that... Victor guy. There's that. Why are you going so late at night, Vasya? Let me go. Don't rush anything, man. Vasya, hold on, hold on. You haven't seen Elena yet. Sit down. And you haven't talked to Vaska properly. Don't rush it. I don't want to torture my soul. I missed my chance for happiness. I missed it. I've imagined coming home to Olia and my daughter. And now, I also have a son. This is such a big mess. No, I think I should go. Look, Vasya, let's have a drink. You'll feel much better. Poor then.
All right, do it. That's right. Uh-huh. Job well done, boy. Wait, what have you done? Let's wash your hands. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, where are you going? I'm getting the soup. Hold on, I'll go too. Why is that? I'm coming with you. What are these amounts you have here? Have you included the advance? <sighs> what kind of man are you, Victor, huh? Look, it says here, ADV, right? Huh. What do you think it would mean, Victor, huh? <laughs> look closer, look closer, see? 10,000. How would I know what this ADV would mean? Oh, yeah. Well, all right. All right, we'll check it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check it. You got it. So, namesake, I saw you in the album. You can't fool me. What album was it? Mom has a small album with these photographs. There's your photo in it. Do you want to see it? It's in the house. Go ahead. Did I nail them right? Yeah, rock solid. So, wait a minute. Is namesake a name? <sighs> oh. Who are you? I told you already. I'm a cook here. There you go. Let's check it inside. After you. I have to tell you, I want to be a foreman. Sounds good to me. You'll be a boss. You'll be earning good money in no time. Where were you before you came here to us? Near the White Sea. Were there sharks swimming around <laughs> there? Seals. Seals and seals alone. Seals in the sea? Like, uh -huh. for real? Uh, would you ever take me to watch them? Um, I could take you there someday. Aren't you my real father? Vasca! Go have your lunch already. Hold on, son. She's calling us both. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry it turned out like this. I'm gonna go now. I waited for you for so long. It's far too late for anything to change. How's Elena? Elena's doing just fine. I didn't make it back then either, but... Maybe it's for the better. I don't know. I really don't. I just don't. I'll go then. Vasca, are you okay? Vasca? How many times do I have to tell you not to walk around this site alone, huh? Get inside Let now. Let me go, okay? I don't want to go home. Victor, what's wrong? Come on, it's all right. No, really. He's a man, after all. He's just showing his teeth. He'll calm down and come back home. Fair enough. Let's do the terrace next time. It needs glazing and painting, and we're already overrunning. All right, Victor. Whatever you say. Ignat Ivanovich. I'm gonna head out. Head out, huh? Well, all right. What about the money, Vasya? We're receiving our payment right now. I don't need it. Give it to Olia, please. Oh, I see. Victor will pay it out. And I'll give her the money for you. Olia. This is for the children. Sounds good. We don't need it. We have enough money. You do. Well, all the best. Good luck, Vasya.
Goodbye now. Goodbye, man. Oh, yeah. Kiss Elena for me. And Fosca, that I... You know better what to say to him. Goodbye. I'm holding it. Vaska! Vaska, hold on, Vaska! <sighs> Give it to me. Come here, boy. Oh, good boy. Vaska, how many times do I have to tell you not to walk around here? Ah! Oh. Ambulance! Call the ambulance, someone! Oh, God. Come on, please. Vaska! Where is he? He's over there. Come on. Victor, I'm sorry. Victor. No need, Olya. I understand everything. Victor, wait a second! Hold it, Victor. Wait a second. Here. Here you go. This doesn't belong to us. We thought we were building it for a customer, but it was for one of us. Just so you know, man. No, 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 no. Take it. Don't worry, Victor. You'd be suffering your entire life anyway. Knowing that she loves another man? Please, don't even tell me I'm wrong. You're right, I'm not a fool. Take the money. No way. No, Victor. This is what all of us decided. And... You... Have a drink, Victor. Trust me. It'll feel better. Trust me. Please just take it. I'm begging you. Just take it. Hey. Come on, man. Antonich, this is what the workers have decided. Take my bike, then. It's all yours, huh? Why would I need a bike? Well, you... Oh. Why would I need any of this anyway? Hey. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You need to live. We do. We need to live! It feels good, brothers. It, it feels, feels good, good to live. live. You, you never, never get, get bored, bored with, with our honor, man. man. It feels good, brothers. It feels good to live. You never get, get bored with our honor, man. Wife will weep, weep and marry, marry another man. man, yeah. She'll marry my friend and forget about me. I'll just miss the freedom in the endless field. Miss my old mother and my creamy horse. Oh, creamy horse. You horse of cream. I'm gonna die alone. You know, you must get an x-ray for this. Yeah. Although, based on my experience, I can say that there are no fractures or spine injuries. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. There is serious shock and a concussion. There is that. But, he'll be all good by the wedding. So then, best wishes with everything. Thank you very much.
What wedding is he talking about? A wedding between your mom and dad. Your real dad. Did you know? I knew straight away that he was my father. He held me in his hands and he didn't hold you. But I did. I did. When was that then? <sighs> Before you were even born, Vasca. Before I was born? Before I went to the seals of the White Sea. That's how long ago. Dad, will you go back? Will you go back to the seals when you recover? <sighs> oh, yeah. Can you play our favorite song? Are you serious? I am. Thank you so much. Одиноких сердца есть где-то на планете, а между ними море, а между ними ветер, а сердцу словно воздух любовь необходима. Два одиноких сердца мечтой живут едино. Мы однажды встретимся. Чтобы знать друг друга, и не помешают нам ни дожди, ни вьюга. Мы однажды встретимся там, где звезды светятся, там, где мы найдем с тобой нашу любовь. Мы однажды встретимся там, где звезды светятся. Там, где мы найдем с тобой нашу любовь.